Hello, Internet. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we... Um... Beat Norman. Don't know why I couldn't remember that. I recorded that, like, literally less than two minutes ago. This time, we're going to be going around Hoenn and seeing some things we couldn't do before that we can now that we have Surf, an HM that we got from Wally's father for being his friend. So I guess you could say he's thanking us for being his friend. Okay, it's Golden Girls reference. It doesn't matter. I'm getting ether over here, which is great. I really love surfing in this game. The music is okay, but just the speed at which you surf is kind of fast compared to other Pokemon games, and I really like it. Uh, you can't really tell because the emulator for some reason is not going at full speed when I surf, but it is nice. May I recall a pond over here. There is absolutely no point to this. Nothing's here, there's nothing hidden in the water, it's just there. I want to head back to um, Little Root Town because there is something we can get from our mother now. What is that, honey? A Pokenav? Someone from Devon gave it to you? Well, honey, how about registering your mom? Hi, Ashley. Bought body with your own money. Sorry. Oh, did Dad give you that badge? Then here's something from your mom. She will give you the amulet coin. This increases the money you get from ba battles when the Pokemon that is first in your party is holding it. So, well, at least if it gets sent out in the battle, it won't work if that Pokemon is fainted. I'm going to give it to Mirror B. I took the Miracle Seed off since it doesn't know um, a Bullet Seed anymore. So it's going to be nice that we're going to be getting even more money from battles now, thanks to that item. There's nothing really to talk about with Professor Burt, she's just in his lab like usual. Um, something else we can do is surf. If you head above Oldale Town, you may recall this water. This is its like little pathway between these two portions of the route. We've already been here before, because this is what leads to the Trickmaster's house. Trickmaster is right over here, and we can go south to Slateport. This is just a shortcut between the two places, since we don't have a way of fast traveling yet. It's very nice. However, that's not where I want to be right now. You can surf along this shore, but I'm going to do that last in this episode, because there is a place along it that I want to go, so I'll see you guys back at Rustboro. Obviously, there is this uh, little pond in front of Rustboro that we couldn't go in before, and there's nothing on this side which may discourage you, but if you go on this side, you'll see a little opening over there. We want to go to that opening, of course. You can get a PP up. This increases the PP of one move permanently unless you get rid of the move. <laughs> Obviously. There's no surf spots in Rustboro itself, but if you head to the route above it, Route 115, there is a very large beach over here. Uh, this place is something I said I wasn't going to worry about before, and I'm still really not gonna. There are new encounters here, but I'm not going to go over them right now. Or maybe I am, that's really up to future me, but yeah, if you head over here, there's like a whole maze here with trainers and everything, and I'm going to battle them, if only because I forgot they were here. Get some heal powder here, it's a bad healing item, but whatever, free healing item. The team got absolutely destroyed in that double battle, but this seems to be the last battle around here, so whatever, I'll deal with- Oh my god, are you kidding me? That kid got locked into a position that doesn't allow me to get what I want to get. I'm 
upset. Because now I have to refresh the area by leaving the area, which is like just a long way to walk. I might as well heal my team now because I doubt that was the last battle up there. Okay, now that that kid is stuck there, we can head up here to this patch of grass where we can find some new Pokemon, some old Pokemon. We can see a lot of Pokemon. These Pokemon are pretty high leveled though, so I imagine this is a good place to train at this point in the game. So another, another double battle there. I'm not going to worry about those right now. You can get Kelpsy Berries here. Not sure what those do, but I mean, let's check. I said I was going to start going over what berries do. Makes a Pokemon friendly, but lowers attack. Yeah, so that lowers EVs for attack, not the stat itself. Although most of the time it will end up lowering the stat itself because that's completely dependent on EVs. It doesn't matter that much. Rather, it doesn't matter for single play. It does matter a lot for competitive, but... We head up here, find TM01 Focus Punch. This is a move that is extremely powerful if you manage to hit, however it has to charge up for one turn, and if you get hit during that turn, then the move can't hit. That's a little frustrating and it's not a great move. We head up here using the Mock Bike. Glad I have the Mock Bike. It's another spot to make a secret base, and an iron. This increases the defense EVs of Pokemon by 10, which... It's a lot of EVs, considering the max is 255 for a stat. We head back up to the shore, but head up here instead. This girl is training by walking in place, which is really impressive, considering nobody else in the world seems to be able to do that. You can only walk forward. It's a Metatite. This is really weak in comparison to the ones up there. What the heck? I mean, I'm not complaining, it's an easy win, but... Jeez, the other ones were like level 26 and 27, and then this is only level 18. Still decent enough experience, though. Head over here. This is the area that is outside of Meteor Falls, so we could head back into Meteor Falls now and catch a Solrock or Lunatone if we want to for some reason. I mean, I don't know why you would, but you can if you want. <laughs> uh, so people who've played the game before are probably telling me there's also new encounters you can find because of Surf. And while that's true, you can also find those by getting the next upgrade of the Fishing Rod, which we will be getting pretty soon. And I think if there are bios that I want to do in this episode or the next episode, I'm just going to do them like before the end screen, which may seem a bit strange since they're normally a, like a part of the video itself, but honestly I just don't have them completely prepared right now and I still want to go over them just so I don't forget about them later. Heading back into Meteor Falls if you head up here, this is a part we weren't able to access before, or actually we were, we just didn't. If you head up here, you can get a Moonstone. You can use this on a Jigglypuff to evolve it into a Wigglytuff, or a Skitty to evolve it into a Delcaddy. They're both okay. They're both, like, normal types with generic stats, so... I mean, there's nothing really wrong with them, there's nothing really great about them. Back in this route near Fall Arbor Town, you can use Surf. There's not too much to gain from using Surf here, but because, like, we can't go up this waterfall. But you can if you want, which is what really counts, I guess. I don't know what my plan was there. You surf down here, you find a wild Meryl, and if you're a Nintendo Capri Sun, you find a wild shiny Meryl. I'm gonna head back to the coast near Petalburg City now. <laughs> Okay, I missed the incredibly obvious surf spot in Meteor Falls, but you really can't do anything here yet, so it doesn't really matter. I wonder if there's a ROM hack of this game that just adds the uh, question of if you want to spray another rappel like in Pokemon Black and White 2, because I would honestly play that ROM hack for a Let's Play instead of the original. Makes rappels a lot more usable. 
Okay, back at Mr. Briny's cottage. Head down here, you can go ahead and surf along this coast. And this is the open ocean, as you saw from the cutscene when we were headed to Duford Town with Mr. Briny on his boat. There isn't too much down here other than trainers yet, so I'm going to obviously speed up as I go through it. But the route that leads to Slateport does have something on it that I want to get, and I'm going to go there before ending the episode. Find a big pearl here that sells for a lot of money at Pokemarts, but doesn't do anything else. Head to this side of Duford Island, you can get protein. It raises the attack EVs by 10, which is always good, but only up until a stat is at 100 EVs when vitamins stop working. Alright, here we are at Duford Town. I'm gonna heal up and then we're gonna head out to the final destination of the episode. If you head out of Duford Town in this direction, Another route with a lot of trainers on it. You can luckily avoid most of them pretty easily, but of course you're gonna end up running into a few of them. They have pretty decent Pokemon, so I do recommend fighting them because they'll give you good experience. I'm just going out of my way to avoid them because I'm lazy. I don't know. Okay, well, this one isn't avoidable, obviously. Unless it totally is, and I'm just stupid. Probably the case. Alright. Route 108. Probably almost there. We are. Welcome to the abandoned ship. This place has really nice music, but we're going to be coming back here much later. Because we actually can't complete the main side quest here yet. Now... If you stand right here, for some reason in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, that kid can talk to you and battle you through the wall, which he proceeds to walk right through. I'm pretty sure it's an error, uh, but you can imagine that it was really creepy because, I mean, in my, like, 11-year-old mind, why would there be a small child with an inner tube walking around an abandoned ship if they weren't a ghost? Pokemon, like, human ghosts have always really scared me, but it's empty. I do recommend checking trash cans in this area in particular, because this is one of the few areas in the games where you will actually find something. At least in some of them. Although, most of them you'll be finding when we return here later, when we have more abilities. Right now, we're really only here for one thing, and... I'm not completely sure where it is, so we might accidentally end up exploring 
too much of this place. <laughs> this place is called New or Old Mauville or some it's called C Mauville actually in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and you can't come here until after you beat the game. There's an entirely separate story to Sea Mauville. The abandoned uh the abandoned ship doesn't really exist in that uh in that game. And another area was traded out to become Sea Mauville, replacing the abandoned ship. So essentially there's just less content in that particular way. I'm not gonna learn Fury Swipes on Appa because it's not a great move. I'm going to switch Jet to the front, take whatever Appa is holding. Full heal. Nice. Works for me. Hello. Ships of this sort are rare, so I'm taking a look around. Mm hmm. There appear to be other cabins. Yes! As most cruise ships do have. You can find harbor mail here. Worthless item? Not worth picking up at all. I'll find it eventually. I'm not searching for you, camper. Dive ball? Still not what I'm searching for. I'll find it. That's my only goal this episode in the long run is just to find this. Stop. <laughs> my laptop that I use for commentary insists on just giving me thousands of notifications per minute. Hello, Snorlax. Urgh, I'm getting queasy just being aboard this ship. It's not even moving, but nothing in here. What did you expect to be in there, me? Can't go down here, we will be able to later. That is what leads to the majority of the rest of the side quest. Get an escape rope in here so you can leave. This is obviously intended for later. We already have four escape ropes from my refusal to ever use them for some reason. Sailor Duncan. I mean, you know this guy's not a ghost because Duncan can't die. But he is knee deep in water. So long story short, Duncan knocked out three of my Pokemon with his Machoke alone. And I'm not happy about that. It wasn't three, it was two. And I'm over-exaggerating on accident, but whatever. Okay, that was just an ambush that I didn't need in my life. Ah, there's something about you that sparkles. Oops, that didn't go very well. You don't say, don't ambush me, I get scared and beat you up. You revive, I'm getting scared that we can't actually get what I came for yet. Please tell me that's not the case, I want to be able to get it. Because it's a very good thing that I want to have. Head in here. I'm investigating the ship on behalf of, Ca on behalf of Captain Stern. He also asked me to find a scanner, but I haven't had any success. Well, maybe we'll come back here later to look for that. You can get a storage key here. This is definitely what I was looking for, I hope. I really hope I am not going insane. We did see a door that said storage on it earlier. So that's what we're gonna find. It's this one. All right, we got TM13 Ice Beam. This is a 95 power, 100 accuracy ice type move with a 10% chance of freezing. That is going on Mirror B because it is so good. I love Ice Beam and it's going to be extremely helpful very soon because our next gym is weak to fly, or weak to ice rather. So yeah, I recommend teaching Ice Beam whenever you get the opportunity. I'm getting rid of Thief because we've never actually used it in a context that it wouldn't have been better if it was Ice Beam. I guess that works as a sentence. Okay. I'm going to leave this ship and not return for a very long time. How did it get so tiny? All right. I'm gonna head to Slateport and then uh, end the episode. There is a good chance that sometime in the future I will be going out of my way to fight the rest of the trainers that are in the ocean, just so I can raise up my Pokemon a bit more and get their levels higher. Just because I'm 
training more Pokemon than I think the game anticipated at this point in the game. At this point, you're expected to have like four or five maybe, but I don't think they fully intend for you to have six yet. So, yeah. Anyway, though, next time on Pokemon Emerald, we're going to be heading to Mauville City to do one last side quest before we head off to the next city. Not sure if there are going to be bios when I'm done with this intro. Maybe. You'll know by the length of the video. If it's 20 more seconds, then video's over. If there's another two to five minutes, then there's bios. Whatever. See you guys next time.